Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel, Yushi Talks. And today we are talking about actor Alec Baldwin, who may be shifting blame now. He has posted a report on AD saying that I should have checked. We have more details about this. Please continue to watch this video and also subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. Alec Baldwin sparked an uproar social media after retweeting an article by the New York Times about how Rust assistant director Dave Holtz told officials that he should have checked all around while inspecting firearms on the movie set. The article shared by the Hollywood star cited a search warrant effort that released Wednesday, October 27, just days after cinematographer Helena Hutchins was fatally shot by a supposed prop arm uh, being handled by Baldwin. Holtz reportedly told the investigators that he could only remember seeing three rounds when he inspected the gun. He advised that he should have checked them all but didn't and couldn't recall if armor Hannah Guterres Reed had spun the gun for the document uh, released by the Santa Fe County Sheriff Office. Joel de Caesar, the film's director, told investigators last week that Baldwin was rehearsing a scene for the Western that saw him draw a gun and point it toward a camera before the tragedy befell. Meanwhile, Holtz told authorities that he did not realize that the gun was loaded and described the situation as not a deliberate act. Baldwin, however, has drawn the ire of gun proponents on social media after sharing the Times article. Some accused him of shifting the blame in the aftermath of shooting. Firearms come with a lot of responsibility. You just can't trust what people say. You have to verify everything yourself when it comes to guns. You should have verified, uh, you know, you would have benefited greatly from a firearm safety training provided by the NRA. One person reported and another one said, is this your excuse? If you had an open mind and actually learned gun safety and number one rule that treat every gun as if it were loaded, this woman might just be still be alive today. So that's all we have in today's video. Do let me know in the comment section of what your opinion is about this whole incident. Thanks for watching us. You have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.